All right, guys, you guys ready for some epicness? You ready, Zane? Oh, yeah. We're here today at an inlet here in Florida. I'm not going to give away the spot, and if you know the spot, just don't comment it. Just keep it to yourself. We don't need to do this. Anyways, um, this is a world-class snook fishery. Um, there's Kubera snappers that I could catch for my life list. A ton of micros I can catch for my life list, but I'm mainly going to focus on drifting live baits, throwing big lures, and I'll do a little species fishing too while I'm trying to get some bait fish. So um, I'm going to start out, I think, fishing a sabiki rig, um, try to get some bait, and then I'm going to go straight into drifting live baits for big monsters. So stay tuned. It's going to be an epic video. We're going to do something we've never done before. Like always on this channel, we're always up to something new. So today's no different. Let's get at it. Let's see what we can get done. All right, two days later, we're back. Uh, what's the goal? We're gonna catch some fish. The snooks, species, fish. We got live shrimps, I'm gonna drift them all night. I'm gonna throw some lures, try to catch some species, guys, but it's redemption time because last time I fished for like eight hours with live bait and caught a ladyfish, that's it. Literally, besides the stuff I caught on my high-low rig, just a ladyfish and eight hours of drifting shrimp. So, we're here to redeem it. We got Giselle, we got Zane, my boy Heath showing up. We got AJ from Jacksonville here. The whole, there's like everybody in Florida's here today, man. So we're gonna go hit them up. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck. It's like 11 p.m. right now. We're just gonna fish all night, all day. We're just gonna freaking grind it out. So there's definitely gonna be some cool fish caught today, guys. Stay tuned. It's gonna be an epic one. Let's do it. My boys. Let's go. That's all we do, just walk the dog. Wait for a thunk. I got a shrimpy over there. Down in there. Tide's about to be going out 30 minutes into high tide. So, all right. I can't tell where the tide's going. It's supposed to be going that way, but it's not really. It's just a lot of like this. Like washing machine kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Fish on. Hey, go get the drop net, baby. Fish on, guys. Nice. Little snooky. Yeah, please. It's not giant, but I don't want to flip them. Drop it, man. I got it. Oh, boy. Oh, dude. Got him. Got him, dude. Solid, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, my man. Well, I just got mine. I got mine as well. Hope you get yours. Yeah, dude. I appreciate you, man. Bring the tape. All right, PB snook. Nice one. Let's get another one. I got to get him back. 
Does anybody have a tape on them? Oh, whatever. Nice one. We're gonna let them go, guys. Drum brakes first. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. Oh, what? Nice. That was loud. So the shrimp bite's on. Yeah, bro. Man, what's up, guys? All right, let me give you the lowdown. So. 5:44 in the morning. We've been fishing all night. Um, I I got up yesterday at like 6:37 for work, and we're still going. The sun is gonna rise soon, so time for some acceptable footage. Um, night fishing is part of multi-species fishing, so I know we don't get the best footage doing it, but it's part of multi-species fishing, so I have to do it. And that was a pretty cool fish, so I think it was worth it. But um, sun's gonna rise soon. I just dropped my buddy off. He's gonna take a nap in the back of the Matrix. He's gonna christen it with a nap. But um, yeah, uh, we're just gonna continue drifting live shrimp probably for now and see what the morning holds for us. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna keep kicking butt. You got one? Yeah. How big? Uh, Drop net? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this is a dink. It's a tiny one. He was, he was owning you though. Nice fish, bro. Good job. Woo! Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Yo, nice. Nice work. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Well, I Damn it. Got one. Got one. New species. Is that not legal, sir? <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, Leo? That's a right whale, yeah. See the mom and the calf. We definitely saw two of them. Look at that. Oh, Rolling. Oh, Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is well, man. We're getting good visuals out here. I think that is probably the coolest whale sighting I've ever seen. I've seen them. I've seen pilot whales Ooh, off the yeah. beach, but never anything like this. Yeah. Uh, this is a special day here. I'm glad I came. Anybody out there taking pictures? Oh yeah. Yeah, the telephoto. Oh, I told yeah. her. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't see that like way out. Wow! Yeah, there's probably like 50 Kobe on it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, you can. I'm over three weeks. Yeah, we do what we could. I got a Hummer. No. We're done with the inlet. It just got way too crowded and. It was crazy, like way too many people, shoulder to shoulder. So we're gonna go to another spot. We're gonna grab some lunch and then go to another spot. So stay tuned, guys. Peace out. <sighs> oh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ways to fish for a little snook. That is slip float with live bait. Nothing beats it. All right, let that float get took. Snapper. Mangy. Good 
Jack. That's a nice one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to explain a couple things. I don't know if you could understand what was going on towards the end there while we were still at the inlet, but we actually saw a right whale, which uh, I think there's, they said there's something around like 500 of these things left in the wild. So not very many of these whales that I've never ever seen a sighting like that in Florida in my life. I've seen like, I don't even know if pilot whales are actually whales, but I've seen pilot whales before. And that was just amazing. This giant right whale in her calf about maybe 150 yards off the end of the pier, 200 yards off the end of the pier. And they were they hung around for a while and it was just so cool to see and something that really doesn't happen often. So it's a really cool day to be at the inlet and see that. But another thing that also happened, which I was unaware of, was I caught a slam that day. So apparently FWC, they have this program, which I'll show you guys. Um, and it's just basically like you catch a memory, something like that. And you, you can catch slams or like big catches and they just will send you prizes and stuff. But I caught the Bay Estuary Slam, which is Snook, Mangrove Snapper, and the Spanish Mackerel all in one day, which is kind of a weird slam, but it's pretty cool. And my buddy told me about it, so I sent him pictures, and then they actually sent me this really nice looking t-shirt right here. It says Catch of Memory, Saltwater Angler Recognition. With this little Snook here, and on the back, Bay and Estuary Slam, you got a snapper, you got the mackerel and the snook there. I think it's a really nice looking t-shirt. So cool, cool little program FWC has. We're definitely going to go for some more of them. And if you live in the state, I definitely recommend you try going for those too, because that's that's pretty cool, man. I mean, you kind of get your money back for your fishing license if you can end up getting a lot of those shirts. But anyways, I'm coming at you guys from the crisis right now. I know it took forever to edit this video. It always, uh, it always does, but hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.